Let's dive down into the ocean in the Cambrian period, 520 million years ago. It's teeming with life down here. These are some of the most ancient animals, evolutionary experiments. Of all these bizarre creatures, it was this ferocious predator that held dominion. It's from a group called the Animalocarids. But now, 520 million years on, a fossil from Greenland is adding a new dimension to the story of these Cambrian monsters. The Animalocarids, they were quite a diverse group of forms that we interpret as being predators. So they were swimming through the water and capturing relatively large prey that was in the water or was sitting on the seafloor. But this new animal awkward that we've discovered was quite different. The locality that we've been working on is called Sirius Passage, which is situated in North Greenland, about 82.5 degrees north. So you're almost at the North Pole. And what that means is that we have daylight all day long, the sun is just moving around in a circle out there. Sirius Passage is teeming with fossils and also teeming with fossils that we don't necessarily always find in other localities. And the locality hasn't really been explored that much previously. So we knew that we were going to find a lot of soft-bodied fossils and we also knew that there was a good chance that we were going to find something completely novel. We basically just sit on the hillside and take chunks of rock out Every time you split the rocks, there are some remarkable soft-bodied fossils. And then occasionally you find something spectacularly new. And you don't really know what to expect. When I first discovered these animalocrid appendages, I didn't have any expectations of that they were going to be there and how they were going to look like. So it was quite something when you split the rock and you see this big appendage and you realize that it's something that hasn't been seen ever before. So this is the fossil that made us realize that we had something remarkably new. Because what we see is that they have very, very nice, delicate spines of a similar length going down the appendage. And what we also can see is that on those fine spines, there is a very, very regularly arranged set of bristles. And this is remarkably different from any other animal grid that we know of, because those forms, they typically have very short and stout spines, which are used for grasping a pincing prey. This thing would not have been able to do anything like that. So we hadn't thought about what on earth this particular animal crit might have been doing. And we realized that there was a lot of similarities to suspension feeders, forms that are filtering particles out of the water. The way that the appendage is arranged on the body, we cannot really envision that it was able to swim up against the water current and thereby have the filter apparatus collecting particles. Rather, we think that they were browsing through the water and then using a uh, technique that we have called sweep net feeding, where they basically were sweeping the appendages through the water. And in the process of that, they would entrap particles in their feeding appendage. And then when they curl up the appendage, they would actually move it up adjacent to the mouth. And then the mouth could have sucked in these particles. Today, sharks and whales have taken the Animalocarid's crown as the most fearsome predators in the ocean. But some of these predators, too, have evolved into large suspension feeders, gentle giants. In fact, it's happened a handful of times in Earth's history. As yet, researchers aren't sure why some apex predators hang up their fangs and become gentle giants. As we were describing this thing and we were making these comparisons to large nectonic suspension feeders elsewhere in Earth history, there was an entry that was made for a speculative art book. And one of the entries were an artist from uh, Connecticut who was speculating upon the fact that perhaps the animal awkward could have become large nectonic suspension feeders as well. He named this hypothetical clade of filter feeding animal awkward, the seedy carrots, the whale uh, shrimps. And we thought that in, in order to honor the fact that he 
I actually hypothesized on the existence of this group that we would name this group of filter-feeding animalocrids the city carrots as well.